hello everyone today i am going to show you guys about how you can create a sliding glass window in a, uh, along with a fixed window in a windows template file in revit this uh, this family file is fully fully parametric but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start with the tutorial open new windows template file in Revit go to interior elevation and first of all adjust the dimensions uh, I'm going to place it uh, keep the height as 7 feet width as 8 feet and as it is there is going to be a door as well so the C level is 0 feet now place the reference planes as shown with the help of this dimension command make these reference planes equal so that there are three equal parts of this window after that select extrusion and draw as shown in the video make sure to lock these uh, lock this with the reference plane so that when you change the height of the window this extrusion moves along with it also make these dimensions equal and fixed so that they should always be three inches now adjust the extrusion and lock it as shown in the video now place a reference plane as shown assign a name to it place a dimension as shown assign a parameter to this dimension I'm going to name it door opening now go to right elevation select extrusion set the reference plane to 1 which you have just drawn and draw as shown lock these sides make this extrusion as 2 inches wide this drawing and lock this 2 inches as well with the help of dimension now go to plan view and assign a parameter to the extrusion end so place a new parameter name it door width click ok and assign a formula to this diamond uh, to this parameter which is width divided by 3 and now you can easily slide this door now select white extrusion set the reference plane to this uh, extrusion which you have just drawn give the extrusion uh, give it an offset of minus 2 inches and then draw so that uh, you have a frame for that do uh, glass door and make sure to lock this drawing with the edges oh, which is uh, 2 inches lock this extrusion as well then go to interior elevation select extrusion and then draw the glass with this white extrusion you have just drawn lock the edges and then set the extrusion with the help of these arrows
place a dimension within this assign a parameter to it which is glass thickness assign a value to this parameter i am going to give it the value of minus a uh, one by four inches the sliding glass door has been made now it is time to draw the fixed window for that go to interior elevation select extrusion set the reference plane to center front back and draw as shown make sure to lock the edges in the plan view adjust the extrusion with the help of these arrows and lock all of those edges which i have logged in this video don't forget about that now select void extrusion set the reference plane to the extrusion which you have just drawn give it an offset of minus two inches and then draw with the help of dimension log these two inches width from all the four from all of these four sides again adjust the extrusion with the help of these arrows in the plan view and lock and lock all of those sides which i have locked it then draw the glass with the help of extrusion in the interior elevation view again adjust its extrusion with the help of these arrows assign a parameter of glass thickness to this extrusion in the plan view it is now time to assign materials to the frame and the glass for these two frames i'm going to place the aluminium for this one i'm going to assign wood and for the glass it is going to be a clear glazed glass so assign the materials as shown in the video After that, open the project file in which you want to place this window. I am going to place it in this renovation project, uh, which I have uploaded the tutorials previously. You can visit my channel to access those tutorials. Now load, uh, now place this window on the wall. As it is a rapid phase project, this dashed line means that it, this wall, this portion of the wall has been demolished to place this uh, window in here. Now select uh, show previous plus view for this view as a phase filter i forgot to mention it in the previous video and now you can see that it has been placed uh, in the project and you can easily edit it adjust its dimension as you wish uh, i'm going to keep the weight as nine feet six inches
and by entering a value in the store opening parameter you can uh, op either open or close the uh, class door as you want so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe